again, here's the, the overall look. Um, you can buy these little glasses on eBay or Amazon where they're like, what, five bucks maybe? I thought I saw seven, but yeah. Yeah, somewhere around there. They're really, really cheap. Um, if you want to get the Devo hat, then that's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's your problem. Um, you can see there are a bunch of different styles. I've actually seen people use this style. Um, if you're into like cosplay kind of stuff, Cyclops from X-Men is a big one that people use this one for and they put the LEDs around the edges and make it look like it's a blaster. Um, to use them, oh, so here's the gem that I'm talking about. So you can search for that. They're, they're really not hard to get working. Um, again, my internet connection is you know, super slow. Make sure none of this is running. I might have to hop onto the open one. I'm not super excited about that. So I mean, right. if you were using JavaScript to run to host Johnny Five, oh, there you go. You'd probably be running a website. You could probably control your Arduino or your exterior lights from the web, like from work. Or, Fact. or hook up a webcam to it and plug in your lamp and be a show. I've got that's very easy. So you mentioned putting these up for Christmas decorations. Last year, my mom's birthday's in December, I bought her three strings of these. And just ran them all around the front of her house. And then I got there is a what's it, ESP eighty two sixty six sixty six that has a built in Wi Fi module. So I just connect up their Wi-Fi, and then it's our new compatible. So I have it hitting um, a site called PubNub, but you can also do it through Azure, or a whole bunch of other different things, and just looking for changes. Um, and then from my phone, I can go to that website and set the colors, just like I did on the Windows one. And she can change her entire, she can add animations, add whatever she wants to it. Um, so we've already done the cutting for you, so you can ignore this part. Um, we did not do this part, which I do recommend, which is to kind of clean up the edges. He makes it, I commented here, he's not comfortable with sharp little points right next to his eyes. I think that's a smart choice. So just round those corners a little bit. Um, uh, real quick, uh, I don't know which one they're showing there, but the ones that we're giving you are waterproof, so they have an elastic uh, sleeve around them. And you, if you want to keep them waterproof, you might want to you know, when you're done with this tutorial and you've got everything working, you might want to hot glue the edges to seal them up or something like that. But if you notice that they look a little, a little different, that might be why. I think there are waterproof varieties and maybe not so much. Is yeah, that this is the non-waterproof variety. Here's, here's the waterproof. But so they're the same product. You should, so they're only IP67, which I know that is, they, they're not completely submersible. This backing is still exposed. They just have that sticky side glue that's on them. So if you remove that, you can actually get to the back here and solder them directly on the back and see that as well. If you don't want to blow the solder on. But effectively all you're doing is getting a battery. They'll run off of 3.7 volts, which I just showed you with mine. You can wire them directly into the strip. The nice thing about power is power doesn't care which direction it's going. It'll go you know, all the way through all the wires. So you can wire them up. This is their trinket, which will run off of 3.7 volts as well. Um, your Arduinos, I think, will run off of 3.7, but only just. Is that right? I think I've run them off 4.5. I would want higher. But I, I was trying to find Yeah, so keep that in mind. Um, with the Adafruit Trinket, you can actually run them off of 3.7 volts. You can wire it exactly like this. For yours, all you need to do is take your battery for your LEDs, wire it up either you know, somewhere along the chain, make sure you get your clarity right, the positive and positive ground ground. And then wire this data line, which is the green one, into any one of the digital pins. If you look at your Arduino, it'll say D2 through 12 on the one side and then 13 on the other side. Pick one of those and go with that. Okay? Um, and then you need to provide power to your Arduino as well. They've got their setup that looks something like this. So they've kind of hot glued the LEDs to the trinket. And the nice thing about the trinket is it's, it's only about this big, so it's really tiny. So it works perfect for those glasses. But if I can do what you've got, they put a JST connector on like I have with mine, and they can disconnect the battery. But this is all the more you're gonna to need to do. Really, really simple software. For the software, okay, you're gonna open up the Arduino IDE, 
You're going to download the NeoPixel library. Um, really easy to do. If you don't want to just download the library and include it, you can also download the library and link to it. Um, but again, they've got right here pound defined pin 4, so you want to make sure that you're on D4, otherwise you want to make sure you change that. But here's the code, the entire code, that you need to make yours work. Okay, so you just need to make sure you set the number of LEDs, how many did you say, Nate? 28. 28. So make sure you change this from 22 to 28. Make sure you change the pin, whatever pin you're wiring it into. And then you can leave everything else in here exactly the way that it is. Or customize it. Or customize it. <laughs> There's his red if you want to make it so. There's his red. If you want to make it a different color, just change these right here. They're just hex colors. It works as fine. Sweet. It's a great giveaway, huh?